What do you got on there? What's that, Spank? What's in your backpack? Are you packing gear? So this is week eight of Goofy's Race and a Half Challenge training. Lord. I have two 45 minute training runs, one this morning, and at the end of the week, a nine mile run. I'm gonna try to figure out what else I wanna do. Maybe some weight training. Definitely more stretching and possibly some yoga. I'm also gonna show you all of the gear that I take with me on my training runs. The sun's up and it's time to get moving. One mile in 10 minutes. Looks like all the kiddos are back to school. Three point five miles. 10 minutes to go. So I always wonder if a lot of you do exactly what I do, which is put your stuff out the night before. And for me, it's a lot of stuff. I grab a pair of running shoes, a pair of shorts, compression shorts to avoid the chafing, sunglasses, a hat, a shirt, and these Inji toe socks are great because they help you avoid blisters. I put on two waist packs, an Everest waist pack, which I use to carry the Fayutec Steady Gimbal, the GoPro, the Joby tripod, and some extra batteries, and this Fitletic knockoff is for runs that are shorter than seven or eight miles, and it has two 10 ounce hydration bottles. For anything longer than that, I usually grab my Ultra Spire hydration vest, and I've modified this so I can carry my GoPro, but more importantly, it takes a one or two liter hydration bag. Now, I can't do what a lot of you do, which is simply look down and see my watch face. I can't see a watch, period. So I've come to rely on iPhone apps, and in combination with this Plantronics Backbeat Fit headphone set, and a Skosh Rhythm Plus heart rate monitor, which is really accurate, I can hear my pacing, my distance, and my heart rate. Finally, I usually grab this road ID, which has my name and some contact information on it. And that's for just in case, God forbid, anything happens out there while I'm running. Now, I don't monetize my videos. I'm not getting anything from any of these companies. This is simply stuff that has worked for me over the past two years. So if you're interested, I'll put some links in the description below. Good morning. Really had to drag myself out of bed this morning. Even though sunrise is much later, no longer around about 6.30 in the morning, it's more like 7 a.m. It took everything to get me out of bed by about 6.45. In fact, I was so exhausted yesterday, I didn't do anything. No weight training, no running, and I barely did some editing. Had a lot of flashers and swirlies in my eyes.
only 18 minutes closing in on 1.8 miles. I'm gonna put you away for a little bit. Hi, Papa. No, no, no. Stay there, pup. Ankle biters are out again. <laughs> we had about four inches of rain yesterday, so man, is it humid. About two minutes left, I'm heading home. Hey mister, what do you have in here? A toy? <laughs> Mickey ears. A frisbee. A bottle of water. Hey, how'd you get a cupcake in there? slacking off a bit this week. I really haven't had the time or inclination to get the weight training done, but I've been a little too busy. So I figured this T25 stretch will make me feel a lot better. It has kind of a yoga element to it, and this should do the trick before tomorrow morning's nine mile run. I've gotten off to a good start this morning, about 15 minutes before sunrise. Pretty good for me. Got another 80 minutes to go. I'm running through the shopping center for safety reasons at this hour. But as you can see, beautiful sunrise this morning. This is where I lose time. The only real hill on my training route kind of gets you ready for those on and off ramps during the Run Disney races. Whew. Not used to hills. I think this is over some railroad tracks. As I say, it's all downhill from here.
here comes that darn hill again. So you know the saying, it's not the heat, but the humidity. Well, I agree. It's the humidity and it's the direct sunlight, which really forced me to slow down during the last mile. I managed about an 11.30 pace over the nine miles, 15K. And that's not bad, one hour and 44 minutes. So week eight of Goofy's race and a half challenge training is now finished. I haven't really planned for next week, so let's just hope it's a splash.